Hey folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. We are Communist China, and we have formed the Government of National Defense faction. We've uh, invited some of the other uh, Chinese sort of factions to join in, and we are now all going to offer to join China China's war. Uh, China China over here, Nationalist China over here, which we have been influenced to become communist. You know... We're going to keep doing that. It looks like the events that auto flip um, states to me with the communist support is, is indeed gone from the game. And I was pretty sure. Uh, we are also going to go... I am going to give some sort of combat plan over here. We could start by maybe... I don't know. I don't know if we can flip these guys. I guess we can get a capitulation and get some equipment out of it. So we are going to try... I don't know. I guess we'll push up to this river. It's going to be the idea. Grabbing that capital would be nice, but that might not be feasible. This is all mountain. And maybe, I don't know, ultimately, if we can get up as high as that. There we go. But we don't actually have the troops to do that. Now, I'm not going to tell these... How well, am I going to tell these guys to go? Okay, I'm not actually in the war yet. Let's, there we go. Joined. Um, so it is going to be of critical priority for us to go and get this cut off. Here, here, here. Um, although, you know what? I will get you to go here. We'll try a slightly different path um, to isolate these guys as quickly as possible. Meanwhile, you guys, I mean, you, I, I'm not activating the battle plan, which I think I'm kind of okay with. I mostly want a lot of these guys to just sit around. Um, we do have an airport, so if anyone has any airplanes, they might be able to jump in. And we're going to see if we can make the jump to... It's not Taiwan. Taiwan? I, I don't know. But, I don't know. Taiwan, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll go there. And we might be able to get these guys to capitulate and give up their equipment. And very least, it hurts the supply flow through over here. Um, okay, an anti japanese expedition bypass. Right, because we're in a war with them. So we can't go and, like, preload their stuff with, like, infiltration, which is too bad. I also don't know if we can provoke Japan. Maybe when we're back at peace with them or something. I don't know what that is. We're still going to try the um, confrontation with warlords. Because... Oh, hold on. We got to um, call all. So, Xian Kang, Guangxi Click, again, I can't pronounce any of these, have been called. Yunnan never willingly joined. And Jai Bei never willingly joined. So I don't know what the confrontation will do. Maybe it's going to start another goddamn war with them, and then we'll really be screwed. Decision available is... Ah, uh, okay, war bonds. So for 180 days, we will lower consumer goods factory requirements. That's great. The other thing we can do, once we get a little bit more power, is industrial land appropriations, which gives us a building slot at a cost of a little bit of support. But as you can see, we've got lots. does count as a defensive war over here. Boom, boom, okay. It's going to take them a while to actually be able to help and contribute. But I don't know, maybe a little bit over here. We shall see. It is allowing more people to walk up here. You Are you moving up to here? I think you are. So, although someone else is too, but we should be able to move within friendly territory a lot better. Um, I could attack here and probably push them back, but what's the, what's the gain, really? And here we are just going to expand our front lines, but yeah, if we can get the uh, capital... Uh, it's going to be dicey. We caught them while moving, and even then, it's going to be hard to beat them just because of the defensive terrain bonuses. It's so insane. Okay, that is a lot more troops. We are going to halt your movement and halt your movement. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely play this super passively, uh, which means that you are going to officially join this army as well. We're not going to have, like, the lone wolf doing crazy stuff. There's no active play move here. We're mostly just going to chill. You are... How are we not beating these guys? Oh, 537 defense. <laughs> All right, well, let's just halt you. You just hold the line. At the other hand, it should be possible for us to hold where we actually have people, which isn't as many places as we might like. Um, can I get you? Yeah, just keep moving up here. We want to like push up to the river. That would be really nice. 
hold to the river. Uh, you are going to halt that attack. Don't waste all of your organization attacking places you can't possibly win. Even here, like, that's pretty good. Okay. Um, so you're training up. That's good. Um, we've got excess infantry equipment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start to swap some of these guys. Oh, yeah, you're green because you did deploy really early. Um... Swap you to infantry 40. We could just train more. You know what? Rather than swapping you guys... Oops. That's not what I meant to do. We are just going to... Add that in. I don't feel like increase it in a balance. Let's go something like this. Three at a time. Reinforcements are still king. Well, actually, I don't know if that's true. We even maybe want to train some of the little ones, and the reason I'm saying that is because we may not, we just don't have enough to cover everything. We're having to have China actually reinforce this front. We push up to this river, that would actually be nice, but is that going to extend our front line too much? We still have no planes. Um, if we can send a message to the Soviets, actually, that's what I'm going to do. I should have probably done that instead of doing the confrontation with the warlords, whatever that is. You still can't change your focus, right? I mean, your focus, so that's why you can't. Um, but yeah, if we could... Yeah. Uh, Soviet volunteer group. That could send us a few people. That would be really, really helpful. Okay, China's moving a crap ton of people in here. I'm not sure that that's smart. Although maybe they were having supply problems here or something. Or maybe they're like, you know what? Oh, wait. Okay. Alright, German Reich declares war in Luxembourg. Um, maybe that's smart because maybe they can actually mount a counterattack here. Now, the AI will wait until their planning bonus hits 100% before they go. So it'll take a while before they get to take advantage of that. But maybe they can plan something? Now that they've got this, I don't know. It feels like they should have just lined up over here on, you know, where they're actually being obliterated. They're trying a counterattack here. They're holding there. They're not holding there. Meanwhile, you have joined in. All right. Well, we'll find out what challenge the warlords do soon. Luxembourg's capitulated. What a surprise! So, uh, offensive war. Oh, this is your Czechoslovakian war started World War II. Okay, I guess there was a guarantee, probably. Or it joined the Allies or something. I don't know. I don't care what happens in, in the West. None of that influences me. I'm only concerned what's what's happening over here. Corner no more. Red Army once survived in the state of what seemed like hopelessness. But since the Long March several years back, the tide has slowly turned. With significant territorial advances, apparently... Um, our role as an underdog is a thing of the past. Having fought through this time of struggle, our desperation is now behind us. And Mao Zedong has gone from guerrilla army leader to chairman. So, I'm losing Cornered Fox? Oh. Okay. I guess it's because we're in a war with and we've gained territory? Still, though. I don't know. Defense is whole panic. Tanks over here. Um, am I attacking? No, that's one of them. But I guess they are attacking from multiple angles. Let's see about some assistance here. I mean, there's still this river crossing, the terrain thing. But if we can get the reserves in there, maybe, maybe. All right, and I mean, we do actually. We have one of our troops in every boarding province. That's good. Okay, so I am happy to go with the 40 width as opposed to just, like, loading up extra numbers here. We have one of our troops in every one of our provinces. Uh, Japan's sitting here with a lot of dudes. We've got enough supply for everything. So we're 8 of 15 over here. That's fine. 5 of 17 over here. Yeah, we're good. I'm not feeling the need to put in more infrastructure. Um, I don't think there's much in the way of bombardment. What's the air view look like? I mean, we have no air superiority, but they don't really have any planes. Now, we might be able to ask for some sort of Lend-Lease to get some... Well, we can't ask for Lend-Lease, right? We could ask for um, uh, license production from someone if they've got, you know, some cool planes. But we'd still have to build them. Still, it might not take a lot of planes to make a big difference. So that, that attack's not going to work out. 
It's interesting how much the numbers are twitching, though. I guess that's China thinking about maybe adding people in and then changing their minds. Okay, we need some Mountaineers, but that also, we are kind of going to wait until we've got a certain decision. He gives us a boost. So I don't think there's going to be much movement here. The problem is, over here, everything's going bad very quickly. Like, if we're going to attack anywhere, it might be the desert, but there's a river crossing. I guess there's no river crossing here. You know, okay, China's got people everywhere, right? What if I moved everyone over here and tried to push back? They still have a ton of defenses, though. Like, this is a lot of people waiting to hold here. But if we're ever going to punch through, it might be there. Of course, China's still got the minus 50% penalty, but this is not a very dedicated attack. It is only going to be attacking from one province, though, which is less than ideal. These guys should really have joined the war, and then we could have done a 2-to-1 attack over here. Okay, I'm going to go and trim back our front. So all of our troops are going to show up over here, which actually might be a little shy on infrastructure. Oops. I didn't mean to right-click there accidentally. Uh, what are our options? What do you... Oh, our industrial land appropriation. Yes, please. I definitely want to run that. Thank you very much. That gives us an extra building slot. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, repair the infrastructure since it happened very quickly anyway. So, yeah, there's some... Oh! Hello. Let's go and assist over here. We can actually do a cutoff. Okay, that attack's definitely not going to work there, uh, China. But this attack, if it works, let's get more troops to come over here and then do this. Um, if this works, then we can choke these guys off, first of all, which is very nice. I mean, assuming you can't get supply through a, a third-party country. You know, holding here, attacking there. I mean, our people are going to be involved in more than one fight, but that's okay. Got the river crossing. <laughs> Minus 60%. But then we'll be across the river here. Not everyone's getting the river front in tea. And then we can start hitting these guys from the side and getting a lot more potential. Hitting them in the winter is probably good too. I don't know what their supply situation is. Yeah, they're not out of supply and they do have some digging, some entrenchment, but... Actually, the attacks are working here too. Well, ish. I still think it's okay to maybe focus over here. Try to go around some of the mountains. Just, like, redraw the front line over here, and then maybe focus on another one of these weak spots. But it would be nice, like, if we can take a mountain, if we can cross a river over here. That's a much better foothold. Alright, there's a lot of troops involved on both sides. And yeah, it looks like... Oh, so, we do have the multiple directions. Uh-huh. And there's no air support from either side. At least not over here. I mean, Japan's clearly got airplanes, but there's, like, no airports anywhere. We've got an airport here, but no friendly planes going on. I mean, friendly planes can go and, and park themselves. Okay, let's go up to speed 4. Oh, the attack is very much failing now. There we go. They might... Oh, I don't think... Oh, no, they're still attacking here, but I'm not... Here, do this. Or not. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a battle plan. Something like that. Start to accrue a little bit of planning bonus. How are there no divisions... I don't want to click right now because it'll like cancel some of these attacks. So yeah, we have an excess of people, but they're all attacking from one place. Uh, but you are fighting. You've got the stupid river crossing penalty. And then we've got a bunch of people just sh chilling, not doing much. So the question is how effectively are we hammering these guys? How effective is their supply throughput? Can we actually punch through there? Uh, the radio is going to help. Um, I don't think we need radar towers. It's 99. I think I'm going to swing over back to the industrial stuff. At this point, the production efficiency boost might be the thing to get. We are about to switch over our production. So the, the caps may be a little less meaningful, actually. So let's get some construction speed and then the output. Actually, I guess output would have been better first. Eh, no biggie. It's working, it's not working. There's an attack going on here. It'd be so much better. Well, no, we have maximum number of combat width. We're not really necessarily going to do more here. We really need these reserves to jump in. Oh, hello. I wonder why they took so long. Oh, that was the confrontation with the warlords. Seen reason, decide to join our alliance. Okay, maybe these are the only warlords. Maybe these guys don't count as warlords. They jump in and then they don't. Okay, and I'm assuming they have a decision, and it was join us or we declare war or something. That's going to be really possibly handy. 
more command points. I mean, we could hit the button to hold the line or hit the button to do an attack right now. Actually, that might not be bad. Obviously, it'll cost us more support. But we could do, like, attack harder, attack more. I think we take more losses, but we got the manpower. We haven't even changed our um, conscription laws yet. Okay, this is all like lots of command power. I don't really know the point. More stability. Volunteer divisions. I don't know how much we're doing that. Remove National Spirit, Red Army weakened. Organization training time. It's not the worst problem to deal with. I think, and we're still quite far away from having enough factories for this, I think what we do is we swing over to the Soviet side of things and we look to hit some of those buttons. Call in everyone. Now, that, these guys are gonna join in, which is gonna broaden this front a little bit. If they attack right away, that would be nice. Expeditionary forces, yes. Now, with the expeditionary, I think I control them. So they're gonna give us more troops that we can run over here. There we go, unassigned divisions. Y'all are gonna join that. Second Vienna Award. Okay, this, this has got some interesting potential here. Uh, I'm not going to hit the Force Attack button. We do get, yeah, I'm going to wait for this to finish. We will use the Force Attack somewhere, though. I wonder if I could Force Attack. There's only one each. Like, good defensive terrain, and they're probably pretty dug in at this point. But is this one province? Ew. Yeah, it's not great on combat width. What we need to do is find a place... You know, I didn't have to realize, these, this is really set up to big, thick uh, provinces. It's much easier for... It's a one-to-one -one ratio. Here they can double up against me for combat width. I guess it would be here. We could have two provinces attacking one for a little extra width. It's got the river crossing, but it sort of has that everywhere. I may just want to continue pushing in through the north. I'm kind of tempted to think that. So, you know... Can you not... I control click here. Oh, control right click. There you go. Open from another direction, give us a little bit more combat width. Poland joined the Allies. Now, this is very interesting because, like, Poland was never attacked by Germany. Now they're starting to reassert their eastern claims. I don't know what's going to happen here. I kind of, like, some attaches over here so we can watch would be cool, but we sort of need our political power to do stuff. 100 political power, just to be able to see what's going on over in the west. We'll check the borders in a little while to see what's happening. If Poland just, like, starts attacking uh, Germany from the rear, and somehow that starts causing Germany to lose horribly, that would be hilarious. Hilarious. I don't think that's going to happen. But what, like, could you imagine they lose this area right away? <laughs> the Yugoslavian Confederation. Who now? Oh, they've got a civil war going on. I see. Okay. Japan doing? Tripartite pact. I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's for Germany. Mm. Okay, 98%. This one's going to get lost, although now we're going to get tons more reinforcements uh, hitting here. I'm actually going to... I'll let some troops arrive here, and then I'll be explicitly hitting the play button here in a second to do this attack. Actually, hold on. I don't think we have that much prep ready so it's going to be okay we're going to do this and so the battle plan is actually going to involve for now pushing to something like this oh and there was an old battle plan over here that's why i didn't join the battle plan before i didn't delete things properly control click we're having some supply problems over here um yeah here they're fine here they're low it's local um infrastructure that's the problem uh, control click. We're going to put it at the top of the queue here. Let's just do the one. But yeah, we'll put it at the top of the queue. And it's average infrastructure. Like, well, we should be building in ours, because this is not a puppet of ours. So yeah, it's going to be fine. What is this world icon? Oh, expeditionary forces. Right, right, right. Okay. <clears throat> so some of the forces we have here are not going to be quite as good, because they're foreign. Like, they're not going to be, you know, 40 width and have our equipment. Uh, you want to send more? Yes. And yes, now, we've got too many to jump in over here. Pause. Um, I will make a new group, but... Oh, stop. 
I didn't realize we were still in play. Uh, where the hell? Some of these are going. Did some of them, like, leave? Okay, so these purple guys here, here, and here. You're going to join that. Uh, there's a purple guy here. You're going to join in there. I mean, I know there's supply problems. Um, I might want to line up here to prep another attack just to hit multiple fronts here. Yeah, because actually 24, that's way too many people here. Um, well, we can also do multiple fronts this way. That's probably going to be fine. So these 12 here, maybe this one I will prep. First of all, you're going to follow Mao, because, I mean, obviously. these are Here's our here's a, your leader. Um, and I think we are going to try to hit here just because we can hit from two different angles. I got a keyboard where there's like a slash key where I keep expecting the Z key to be. So I keep doing the wrong thing here. Um, oh, yeah, see, my, my fingers keep getting in the wrong place. What I really want to do is have these two provinces attack there. Once they get in place, a little bit of planning bonus and go. We're going to give you a mountain bonus. All right, and set up over there. Because China's doing a pretty good job holding everything here. Like, nationalist China. Uh... Before you guys go anywhere, can you just go and double team that? Thanks. That's going to be fine because we've got the multi direction bonus. Oh, you come in here too, so our combat width is now 160. Still having some supply problems. Now, once we're out of this area, there'll be more supply over here. So actually, let me go and control click over here to get a bit more. We do have a maximum width of 160 or 16, but yeah, we'll definitely start exceeding that soon. There, we'll queue up two. If I'd realized we we're going to get all this people joining stuff, I might have doubled up on it a bit more. Uh, owner, Shangxi Yan State. The Shangxi Yan State must be the the independent version of these guys. I oh, know. Shangxi Yan. Oh, but owner, why is it yellow? Who's this? It's China. Why, why did they get that? They don't even border this crap. Well, I mean, that's just occupation. That's not, you know, actual ownerships. Okay, this counterattack, can we save greater China from Japan? All right, a little stronger here. That's good. We're still researching these guys. We're nearly done. We will switch over our production. I don't know if I want to keep going there. Unlocking motorized will be something we need to do at some point. But at the same time, we also want to start building uh, support equipment soon. Let's unlock engineers. Um, and over here, we're gonna set up support equipment. I'm gonna prep for two. So as soon as we get any more military factories, we're gonna start working on this rather than um, infantry equipment, although we're super low on infantry equipment. Although that is mostly new deployment. We do need a little bit for reinforcements. It's still a top priority. So any new guns do go there. It would've been nice to have a stockpile. You know what? I can free up a few guns by doing this. We're gonna cut back on the supply lines a little bit. Uh, maybe, I don't know, prioritize some stuff over there because I don't think it takes it away. All right, there's our new gun. What is this? The Fall of Nanjing. Oh. Uh, do I go and convert this? I mean, we're short right now, but what's the point of doing the early research if you're not going to switch to it immediately? It's going to reset our production efficiency here. We're not literally at the cap, but we're pretty damn close. You know what? Let's assume we don't actually need more equipment right this second to win. So it's going to be worth doing the swap over. That's, you know, maybe insane, but that'll do. Industrial land appropriation. Uh, right over here. Boom. Done. And research. So, oh, more 39 industrial techs. Please and thank you. Uh, we will hit play over here. You guys are still lining up over here. Losing, yeah, not that many attacking across river, but now ah, there we go. I figured we'd be fine at some point, and you're actually ranging over there. I still want to do this because what I want to do is open up more combat width. But I want most of the combat width to come from these guys who aren't getting the river crossing penalty. I don't know; these guys may have to get involved regardless. I'm actually not certain how 
how the contribution to the war versus the combat width is, more directions just tends to give you more combat width. Yeah, see, none of these guys are actually getting the river crossing penalty. So these are just giving me more combat width, and these guys are actually giving me the penalty-free um, awesome combat. If any of them are sitting idle, attacking this guy, who's a big loner, would be kind of nice, actually. Well, some of these guys aren't going to be involved in the fighting right now. Here, do this. And we can add more frontage. It looks like you're still winning. Because, I mean, a lot of these guys, again, yeah, they couldn't actually participate in the fighting. I don't know if there's a different icon between someone who's actively fighting and someone who's just in... I don't, I don't see it. Just in reinforcement mode. So there we go. And can we get these guys? That's Yol. I don't suppose we can... Oh, are you losing over here? Oh, because probably a bunch of you moved in here on um, strategic movement. But we're getting some reinforcements. Also a tank attack there, which is not going to help. And you're moving in there. I think we'll be okay. Multiple attacks, rivers. Our strength went up a little bit. That's a lot of multiple attacks. Also, there's no one standing here. Wait, where did the Chinese troops go? Poop. Okay, listen, purple, your job is to do this and not attack after all. I don't know what happened there. This little encirclement on these guys is going to work out. Uh, well, they might end up running away to here before we do that. I don't know if that... Oh my god, the game just crashed. Oh no, it's been going so well. I don't know when the last autosave was. Pray, pray for the autosave, guys. I will, I will see you next time. Bye.